This is the show where you will get to hear everything about Bollywood and you will get to meet some interesting Bollywood personalities. Absolutely. And of course, you get to meet this person who is sitting with me. His name is Sudhi and my name is Suji. Welcome to the show. <laughs> News is that I have heard, you know, uh, sorry, stop waving, <laughs> but I have heard that uh, Drishyam 2 is being made. Uh, you I know, loved it, yeah, Suchi. Drishyam I've 1, seen, yeah. I've, no, also Drishyam 2, I saw it in, in the original language. Um, with, with, um, um, with, um, Mohanlal. Yeah. Brilliant. Mohanlal. So, nevertheless, so after the success of Drishyam uh, 1, you know, Aksha, uh, Ajay Devgan and Tabu starred in Drishyam, the Hindi, Hindi yeah, remake. Yeah, yeah. Now, because of the success of Drishyam 2 in Malayalam, they've decided to make it again. Right. Okay. And rightly so. And rightly so. But what's most interesting is the fact that they've got a brilliant actor as a twist in the tail. Twist. Twist. Oh. In the tail. Yeah. Okay. The twist in the tail is the fact that they've got. Akshay Khanna. Nice. Akshay Khanna is a brilliant actor. I really you know, I, I, I don't see enough of him on the screen, uh, frankly. Do you think he's underestimated? He most definitely is. He is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I've had the good fortune to work with him, of course, in Dilshad. I thought, I thought I'll throw that in there. But then again, we did not. Know. Looking forward to seeing Akshay Khanna and what he can do with Tabu and Ajay Devgan in Drishim too. And of course, talking about the same pair, Suchi, Tamu mm. and Ajay Devgan, mm. they have decided to be a part of another remake film. A Tamil film? Yes, which is called Kaithi, actually pronounced Kaidi. Yeah, so you don't have to say Kaithi then, you have to say uh, Kaidi. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, because the Tamilians listening would know that it's Kaidi. Okay, fair. Correct? Yeah, but I was just trying to be politically correct. <laughs> if you got the thought. Yeah, but obviously their pair is working, which is why they have been, uh, you know, asked to star in this movie as well. Let's see how that turns out. Uh, that's going to be interesting, actually. Deepika Padukone. Oh, I love her. Yeah. She's she's really nice. She's a wonderful and a lovely actress. And so do I. And a beautiful human being. Yes. And what's really exciting is the fact that she is uh, decide, she has decided to do a biopic on her father. Nice. Yeah, the fact that her husband, uh, Ranveer, just did 83, which was, uh, you know, I mean, sort of a biopic in some ways about a couple of days. Sort of me, tha, bhai. Uh, so, uh, you you know, in depth company. knowledge of cricket again? Of course, yes, always. Absolutely. absolutely no, yes. no, hello. It was about, not biopic, is about a person. Okay? Okay. 83 was about a match. Haan. Okay. Fair, fair. Keep quiet. So, nevertheless, so it will be nice. Interesting to see who plays Prakash Padukone. Is it going to be Ranveer, you think? I think charity begins at home. But that's the story. So, I don't know whether Ranveer will actually play it. Prakash, Mr. Prakash but then, Padukone. You think Deepika will play herself as the daughter? I'm pretty sure she should, right? No. I mean, you know, general basic. I, think I, I play the mom. Okay. Okay, moving on. Well, you're talking about Prakash Padukun, who we've not mentioned at all. That's yes, fabulous. Yes, we said no. Achha, we did? Yeah. And you know this also, Suchi, that he was the first ever Indian to have won the British Badminton Globe. Mmm. Wonderful. It's a huge accolade. Yes. It's a little more enthusiasm, maybe. Now, yeah. we hear that Madhur Bandarkar who I have worked with also quite a bit and which uh, you know brings you to the point that I must give him a call because he's making another movie which is called he we, uh, he, which is called uh, Bubbly Bouncer Bubbly Bouncer Bubbly Bouncer now who is Bubbly Bouncer Bubbly Bouncer is obviously a female bouncer and the ah. girl playing this I was rather surprised to hear is the Manna Bhatia the very okay. the very princess looking very fair the petite Manna and mm. all of that yeah, yeah. petite and uh, you know I wonder whether she's going, you know, like to the Akhara and bulking up, man, for this one. It'll be really interesting to see. But it's an interesting concept, right? It's I an mean, interesting like concept. a female bouncer. Madhur, excuse me, you have told me that I have been the lucky mascot in all your other films. So, how come I have not got phone call from you up to now about bubbly bouncer? That is truly a clear, a strange bouncer. It is time now for us to get into our interview section. In our interview section, we normally talk to very interesting people from Bollywood, and this time we are going to speak to a very, very, very interesting guy. You know, I was really interested in, in seeing what he's all about because I've heard a lot about him and he's very intense. And his name is Gulshan Divaya. Here, it here, with Sudhi and Suchi. Here we are on Here It Here with Suchi and and this Sudhi. person, Sudhi, this person yes. called Sudhi. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm going through an identity crisis, but that's you fine, always huh? are Sudhi now. But somebody who's definitely not going through an identity crisis is the guy you're going to meet, uh, ladies and gentlemen, very soon, yes. uh, because we're talking to a very, uh, uh, you know, 
the chicks will say very hot guy uh, you know the actors will say very talented guy some will call him a hunter some will call him a shaitan some will call him many things but we will call him gulshan devaya hello welcome to the I, show i prefer to be referred to as kartik arjun thank you <laughs> <laughs> did you just say that i'm not going through identity crisis hi <laughs> <laughs> hi Uh, he also is well. Yeah, well done. Yeah, that was. But you know, my Karthik Arya spelling has like my Karthik has an S in it, an S is silent. So we are different. <laughs> yeah, we have the same name, but we have very different, different. like different careers. I'm just amazed at the fact that the yardsticks that you set yourself are, are commendable. Yeah, I'm also one of the fans who stand outside his building and scream Karthik, Karthik, and he waves from his balcony. So provided, you do that, provided you don't do yeah, yeah. a tattoo of him on your chest, then it's okay. That was actually a very no, disturbing no, story. That, yeah. that was, by the way, you know that. Suchi, that please tell that story. On my chest. <laughs> nice one. Welcome to here, dear. I don't Suchi. want Karthik Kaur in all over my chest now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you want to rephrase that, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> okay. we were still talking okay, about that. Okay. Not to be a little like dirty. Yeah. Not <laughs> fair yeah. and all that, but I'll imply a lot of things. Yeah. Good fun. Yeah. Good fun. You're on the right show then. <laughs> Gulshan, how's the how's this whole lockdown thing been for you to start off with? Uh, it's a uh, very good actually. I like spending time with myself, and I'm very comfortable being alone and like doing figuring out things. And I'm very well suited to. I've been bred for this. I'm an only child, so I'm very ah, used to be. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, what is it that you like to do alone? I mean, like you just said, right? You're very happy with yeah, yourself. Yeah, don't get personal. Yeah. That. <laughs> mostly, mostly a lot of thinking. uh sleeping thinking watching a lot of youtube uh chilling with my cats bothering them oh, playing yeah. with them being yeah. affectionate with them uh yeah. nice. them around how many do you have i have three a family of three mother and two of her uh, children yeah. they're all nice. grown up now they're all like yeah. grown up yeah. like nine yeah. nine ten years what are they called uh the mom's called ira uh, her son's called uh, buju banton and her daughter is called einstein Oh, oh, oh. that's amazing. Well, I mean, they have other names also, but then like. But this are, is one you like to call them by. Okay. Actually, Buju Banton is not his legal Buju name. Banton, legal yeah. name that on the certificate that the veterinarian gave. Yeah, yeah. So that's like uh, I can never pronounce his veterinarian name. Veterinary. Vet. 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 Veterinary. Yeah. Vet, vet, yeah. 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 I can never spell it. We shall yeah. all remain wet. Yes. Yeah. 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 That is. Yeah. 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 That is. Yeah. And some other people have difficulty with mortuary also, so they just say morgue. Thanks to them. So his, yeah, his sorry. Real is, uh, his real name is uh, his official name is Yo Yo Ginger. So. Yo Yo Ginger. Ting. Ah, huh, very nice. Yo 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 Ginger Tingala. Hey. By the time वो पसीगर बंदा खत्म करता होगा. Yo Yo Ginger की Yo Yo Ginger होता भी सिंग. Yo Yo Ginger सिंग. बोलने वाला था <laughs> at least it's better than what my my and the cat it. is also very loki i must say very that humble depends on the intelligence of loki is also he could be a vegetable also <laughs> cat is a vegetable that's one my cat so in the head yeah that's <laughs> then, uh, he's a loki loki <laughs> gulshan when did uh, you know this whole what they call bhoot savar of acting thing happen for you was it when you were very young or was it uh, later on yes it was very young um i grew up in a household uh, in the south in bangalore that had a particular fondness for hindi film music there was no pop music back then yeah so my parents used to learn, like hindi music was uh, was pop music although we used to listen to uh, music from other languages uh, films of other languages as well but both my parents had a particular uh, you know liking uh, you know uh, towards uh, hindi film music which mm-hmm. later went on to be bollywood music so yeah uh, so i grew up listening to songs from the 50s and 60s and 70s predominantly my dad uh-huh. used to have a huge tape collection mm-hmm. and my i first fell in love with hindi films from those tapes like those uh, the pictures the, those tapes had and i remember yadon ki barat 
and then right. the mentor holding his arm puri chaku and then looking rather <laughs> machismo that he used right yeah was like just phenomenal it really got to me and then uh, the sunday durdarshan hindi film was always a special event yeah. for me and uh, i i mean i don't think i ever missed any uh, unless i was like away or like ill or something even when i was sick or something i used to watch it so i fell in love with cinema but also my parents particularly my mother did used to do a lot of amateur work on stage she was a very good mm-hmm. amateur actor because mm-hmm. uh, and uh, public side psu they both were working in psu so they were very uh, there were a lot of cultural programs and a lot of these uh, you know uh, performances that i used to attend with my parents mm-hmm. so i was also sort of pushed into that you know i saw them doing it and then in school i went to convent school so yeah. the 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 nuns kind of figured out that i was good at a few things Hmm. so they would get me to you know perform for the kids and like you know put together a drama team and things like that yeah. so my first introduction into acting was that like watching my mum predominantly uh, attending rehearsals with her after school and all that and then i fell in love with hindi cinema and then i also started performing and it's i think it's about 7 or 8 i think i started fantasizing like any right. other kid would fantasize about being yeah. in movies that's <laughs> lovely man <laughs> but uh, gulshan you usually i mean the the you know way to go forward when you obviously were bitten by the bug so early and everything was to go into for example maybe a formal education as far as acting is concerned yeah yeah you went to nift yeah. uh and so what was that like for you i mean was it uh, something so also good at uh, other things i was a creative person like i could draw right. and paint like yeah. quite well again skills that i inherited from both my parents so who could who had a lot of uh, who were very creative and who were a lot who had a lot of skills my mother used to do oil paintings right? and my dad is also no pushover like he yeah. he had really good skills he could sketch and draw really right. well quite creative as well right. so uh, again this is also one of the thing that the that the my teachers and uh, had figured out when i was in uh, primary school and they pushed me towards painting and you know just generally being the creative uh, mm. you know craft yeah so uh, so um i when i was when i was sort of in my late teens i did consider going to uh, you know, i did think of go- getting formal education but i just didn't have to go and say this to my parents and i think at that point of time uh, it was the mid 90s and yeah. i think fti did not have an acting course at that point of time they had shut it down yeah and they restarted it later and nsd i had i had no idea something called nsd existed even. so right. and and uh, later i found out that you need to be a graduate for both so, yeah, yeah 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 so i was like um, and uh, i barely made it through like 12th standard like barely in two <laughs> attempts so i had lost interest of studies and all those yeah. things like that so then i i kind of it was just because of because my my grades were not very good i had to sort of fall back on what else am i good at Sure. and i was i had good hand skills i was creative so i wrote the entrance for an app somebody introduced me it's like hey you know what uh, life is not over you can do this uh, mm. uh, a friend of mine vijay venkatesh his cousin used to work for tanish as a designer so mm. that guy said that hey i heard from my cousin that you can like you know you, you have some skills why don't you consider an uh, nid and nift mm. yeah. so then um, we used to get the deccan herald at that time and yeah. then yeah. nid i think i missed the nid applications but uh, and i have the applications i got i saw it on the paper i filled it and that's how i got into fashion i really enjoyed it i still enjoy fashion i really i was good at it it saved my life it gave me something to do it gave me confidence also that like you know i'm just not wasting away my time it gave me a purpose that's actually very encouraging for a lot of people actually growing yeah. up to ji i mean you know that that line that you said that life yeah. is not life over life is not over yeah yeah, yeah there's always yeah. something else um, and i was good at it so like and because i was good at it that gave me confidence also like hey you know what i can do this true sure. yeah yeah uh do you believe are you of the now since you were talking about you know there's always something else that you can do are you of the uh the train of thought wherein you since our jobs are so insecure as an actor yeah, yeah. Uh, always you know it's just depends on the next friday as they say you know uh, yeah. your next release uh, what are the other things that you had set aside that god forbid if it doesn't work for me as a as an actor what will ha- what what else will i do um nothing really <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's like it. i like what that's fair enough path. that's a good yeah. career path yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a tunnel vision like you know and um, uh i was i did work in the fashion business like for some time 
yes uh, for about 8 years and i was fairly successful and i had a lot of uh, i'd never wanted to start my own label or things like that so i did uh, you know i was part of a business that uh, a couple of friends of mine started with and I, then i left that and then but a, a lot of the clients that i had they kind of retained me right uh, they got me on a retainer and i was doing a lot of stuff uh, in uh, and i was making money as well Mm-hmm. so that also gave me the and but i that gave me the confidence to be able to quit that and saying that okay i have you know some money in my bank yeah. so i don't need to like rough it out when i go to mumbai sure. but um, the the that was a safety net yes mm-hmm. i hadn't thought of it but it was a safety net i knew that i could fi- fall back on like if i come to when i come to mumbai and if it doesn't really work out for a couple of years i can always go back to what i was already yeah. doing yeah. and a lot of my clients um more than 50% of them were willing to take me back and they had said that don't worry you go like after a year you can work for us from mumbai because i was doing everything like you know digitally and then like yeah. we can just uh, you know you sure. can just cook sure. us the dvds the cds and stuff like that but i didn't want to do it i wanted to have a tunnel vision and and a lot of lot of the people who were my inspirations like mm-hmm. and they come from a variety of fields like you know be michael schumacher from racing or dorian yates from bodybuilding they all had tunnel vision they all like just did one thing and they did it exceptionally well yeah, yeah, and they absolutely. dedicated their lives to it yeah. i must say so, that though uh, i yeah. i must add to this gulshan that whatever you did figure out in terms of that tunnel vision trust me man it's it's bearing fruit trust me it is thank you, thank you. yeah i think so i think it is and i'm glad i mean the, it's it's my way i'm not going to say that you know everybody should do this this is just my way you have to we have to figure out what really works for us and then we have to stick to it and be consistent with it Absolutely. and also probably the 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 acumen or the iq to kind of understand the fact that these are your uh, these are your uh, shortcomings and these are your strengths so yeah. figuring that out at a l- early age yeah. uh, does uh, speak a certain amount of your maturity levels which is well, very you know, nice of you thank you so much but i wouldn't say it, uh, I, you know i figured this out at an early age and again here like you know i i do have a different opinion some people figure it out really Uh, early they are they have the maturity or the intelligence or the know how or the experience or the exposure and i have seen like really young people uh, and i have worked with a lot of people who are like 10 years my junior as well mm-hmm. and uh, they are a lot more sorted than i was when at their age also i come from like i'm gen x so like sure. i come yeah and then okay don't remind with, me about how old i am okay <laughs> i'm not reminding you i'm just coming <laughs> i'm gen x and all these you are only 20 years old <laughs> so the youngest millennial ever yeah please go so in many ways in many ways they are a lot more sorted like in many yeah. ways in many ways like you know gen x is probably are a bit more grounded and you know and stiller but uh which i really like but uh in many ways they are sorted but it doesn't really I, i'm not like oh shit if i had figured this out when i was 22 or something right yeah, it right. just took me time it just took me time and that's how it is and i'm i'm okay with that that's fine but now but um, i mean i have to say this shaitan i when i watched uh, shaitan i was like yeah, you, absolutely you, yeah. i remember you've told me this in the person yeah. <laughs> yeah and uh, just absolutely incredible to get into a the skin of a character uh, how, what is your process you've played very various types of characters ever since uh, yeah. uh, then especially uh, i'm interested like, yeah. when you finish but especially uh, i'm interested in hunter yeah i'm sure you yeah. are interested in hunter and whether he did method acting for that i would yeah. love to yeah, understand i know you want that. to ask him yes, yes. <laughs> no but we'll please, yes please do <laughs> but uh, what what is your what is your process yes my process has evolved and because i didn't i don't have any formal education and whatever i knew about the craft was from experience and also yeah. reading books and also i was fortunate that i i did some uh, i did theater in amateur theater in bangalore with mm. people who who gave me a lot of reading material who, yeah. who introduced me to a lot of different techniques and a variety of techniques it was not not just one system or anything i read mm. books by peter brook by uh, by all sorts of stuff and like even like pudiyattam things like that you know mm-hmm. like breathing mm-hmm. techniques and stuff like that i was exposed to a lot of these things and again the ac- actors that i was watching at that point of time when i was doing theater was like people like vinay kumar from adi shakti and uh, yeah. adil hussain these two people yeah, 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 yeah. such a profound impact on me you know because my jaw would drop when i would see on see them on stage yeah. i was like i want to be that good you know i yeah. i i want to be that good so and then i was like okay this is the background that they come from this is you know and i would try and like you know i never got to like really speak to them but i would mm-hmm. just 
just watch them and then and expose myself to as much as possible and educate myself so my process has evolved like in the beginning i used to like you know make a lot of notes like when i was in doing shaitan or that girl in yellow boots my script used to be marked a lot a lot of subtext notes whatever ideas i would have i would put it down i would keep striking out ideas that are not working and doing all those things yeah but <clears throat> i did find it a bit rigid because sometimes when things changed on set they would change a line or the scene would change a bit i would find a little bit to adapt yes. yes so then it started to evolve organically i started to evolve into a process which which used more of imagination so mm-hmm. when we well, by the time i got to like working on hunter um i would just i would read the script once or twice maybe just to understand the entire thing yes. and then yes. i would just not visit it again yeah i would just think about the scenes discuss it with um with the director as much as possible and also with whoever like you know uh, my friends or like who are, hey what are you doing so then i would i would start talking about it and if they are interested in it then you start discussing and then you you make you figure out a lot of things also through through such discussions it just becomes part of your life mm-hmm. and i would and because i think because i went to design school i think you know it's a creative process for me so using my imagination is something that i know no, right. uh, i'm i'm kind of trained at it as well so i would imagine the entire character from ground up in as much detail as possible the more time you have the more detail you can create the more time you can dedicate to do that so this is more or less my process that i want to lay the foundation for the character so that when i go on set uh, i'm not restricted by oh the set is looking like this or mm-hmm. the scene is this or they've changed my dialogues or something like that i know how to play that part anywhere mm-hmm. in any yeah, any situation it is actually quite quite uh, amazingly interesting gulshan that you uh, mentioned that uh, also does uh, have a huge reflection in terms of the kind of characters that you end up doing mm-hmm. uh, you there's always this this entire methodology in terms of the actor's mind that okay maybe, <coughs> you know one day i want to be uh, celebrated as probably like a superstar or for that matter somebody who's like that whatever but do you think that the evolution of uh, cinema or for that matter content has taken place to a d- decent degree now that that everyone can have a nice happy niche, niche for themselves and is that something that you're actually targeting i don't know actually i am really enjoying you know doing a variety of things and i think uh even when i was in fashion i enjoyed uh, really designing and making a variety of stuff i was quite diverse like i would do sari prints and hotel uniforms and t-shirt prints and like you know caps and outerwear for levi so i would do all of those things so uh, and i really enjoyed them so i think i, I was have... actually harking back to your tunnel vision that's what yeah. i was trying to go back no i have tunnel vision about about acting and cinema but i think i there is there is, i i do enjoy a lot of versatility and variety in the in the kind of sensibilities i work in so i'm sure I mean, i'm sure all the 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 costume designers on all your films must be getting really scared no yeah, coming to you showing like, you uh, not really <laughs> yeah. because i i also graduated with the top awards so i just didn't graduate from nip just like yeah. that yeah. i was like <laughs> i won on really? that's it. why they must be all the most scared no saying like, oh, sweating bullets going to wear i will sense going are you serious <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. At, at like a national level i swept the board so like so wow, wow uh, man that's amazing yeah yeah thank you that is awesome wow so what did uh, you design i mean it would be nice yeah yeah i did, did i did a whole bunch of acha whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff like um um I, i i it's an interesting period definitely but i think uh, when and uh, that you, that you see with ott right now because of the ott boom and particularly i think the pandemic did it a great service oh, sure. because it just brought so much focus on content uh but you know everything that gains in power at some point is uh, will get corrupted so it remains to be seen what happens to the ott space you know the tv yes. space used to be uh, something new uh, you know 30 years ago yeah. and then uh, it just became i think so commercialized uh, yes. and so uh, uninteresting for many many people to sort of write or or direct or act in uh, but it made people a lot of money so then a lot of people would do that only because they would correct. make killing correct uh, particularly if it's a hit show so hopefully uh, we will not go in that direction but it remains to be seen hmm. to answer your question i really don't know uh, we all have certain goals and ambitions but i think for for me uh more than a finish line i think the process 
is very important and i have i have to enjoy the process i have to enjoy being part playing a character being part of a of a story working yeah. with the people that i'm working with mm. all of those things these all these variables are important mm. and the process is paramount yeah uh, the end result you can't really control sometimes you feel that you have an awesome film or an awesome yeah. series yes. and, and nobody is. likes it yeah correct yeah that happens like you can't really predict and anybody is sitting in any <laughs> corporate things that thinking that they know what people like is is, is yeah. 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 yeah is yeah. things But, can change like that you know? Things you must be feeling so happy and good about the fact that you're, you know, on the show today with us. You enjoy working with good people. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, re maro pito. I just thought. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let me burst your bubble. I hardly know the two. No. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, who asked you to say now? There, there. You heard it. No, you heard it. I think I, I didn't hear that. No, you didn't hear that. Hey, you know what? Like going back to Hunter. Like I want to brag about something. Yes. Yeah. 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 that film is a was a was the young boy in the teenager in me living out these fantasies because i was a very shy person yeah and uh, i did get a lot of attention when i was uh, say 16 17 yeah uh, but i never really knew what to do of that attention and uh, i think a lot of the other boys who i grew up with were jealous of me but they were also a lot more braver than me in terms of <laughs> being able to like you know i don't know yeah. hold somebody's hand or like yeah. you know, right bagra bagra and progress into like the you know uh, what do you call that uh, uh, these americans they have given yeah, us yeah, this yeah yeah the base base one ha, base one base yeah, 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 yeah. second yeah, base, 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 base second base third <laughs> base and all yeah. this is like i thought that you were going to talk about the percussion of the band but fair enough you clarify apan to cricket player hai na hum to baseball khel rahe hain na point base base ka chakkar to nahi hua har bari hit me hit ho jata tha ha but fattu bhi tha na to ye sab really use so hunter was an opportunity for me to kind of live out my fantasies yeah uh, you know so i really harnessed into all of those things that i could have done or i have seen people do but sure. none of those things i have done in my life like ever because i just i was not not that sort of a guy but you know there's one thing that i do take a little i show off that i am the best in the business when it comes to love scenes what else does gulshan devaya do when you're not in front of that uh, camera Uh, what's your what's your mantra for kind of chilling out and fantasizing and it being depressing or whatever is the case yeah. um i think sometimes i'm just uh, you know certain you know thought experiments like you know i have thought experiments some idea can kind of catches my fancy something that i read or something that i saw or something other people are discussing and things yeah. like that so i kind of like think about it or like try and find more material about it Uh, I'm also very interested in electoral politics, uh, not politics, but electoral politics in particular. Yeah. I feel that if you understand electoral politics, you will understand the ideology politics a lot better. Sure. So, sort of like you know, trying yeah. to you know educate myself or expose myself to all different sort of ideas, not only one uh, you know one-sided ideas, uh, but also ideas of people who I may not agree with. so i just want to you know understand why are they saying what they are saying are they sincere in what they are saying hmm. where does this come from and you surprisingly a lot of times you do find people who are very intelligent and very articulate and they have ideas about you know arming yourself and stuff like that which are really hmm. good hmm. so but i do find it i'm it's, it's i what's, find that interesting and you know i watch a lot of youtube i watch a whole yeah. bunch of stuff variety of subjects from uh from things about japan about um, carving the um, um cow hooves and uh, yeah it's yeah it's weird. wow but it's interesting oh, no no oh, gulshan it's like cow food writing <laughs> yeah <laughs> main ye sun ke cow dung reh gaya but other, anyway uh, what uh, i was food fairy, food fairy food fairy he was part of that no huh. no wonder then after that only must ha but nahi gulshan what is the reason i do have a food fetish actually i think mm-hmm. like i do have like, You know, I recently worked with an actor who has really beautiful curly hair and beautiful hands and feet. Tapsi Pan. Ah. Ah. Okay. And she has very beautiful feet. Yeah. 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 No, I, I I agree with you. I mean, in terms of the fact I that I better uh, get yes. a pedicure before I. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Woman, not just about pedicure. It's genetics. Oh, gen- <laughs> genetics. That's true. I mean, if you have weird carbuncles happening, yeah. that's a strange thing. Anyway, ha. Huh, but like, yeah. let's not get into that. Like Shahana Goswami, like you know, is a 
wonderful actor I, she's lovely she's a yeah. brilliant actor is a wonderful person she's so pretty and she herself says she has a great feet and i would agree with her <laughs> <laughs> i was i was waiting for that yes i was waiting i'm sorry shana i love you but yeah. no but what's so the that, recent what's the recent uh, thought experiment that you're grappling with it would be interesting to to know yeah um uh, many thought experiments are really private like abhi like matlab jo abhi recently which is kind of piqued your interest um um about um you have to feel satisfied with who you are when nobody is watching so that's something that's uh, not easy and then you have to really spend a lot of time and you have to keep reminding yourself you know because no matter how we do pretend like even when you are not pretending like you know we want to be nice to people we want we want people to like us mm-hmm. this is the standard setting that we all have sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, be it Instagram or be it in real life or anything. So we, you know, we behave a certain way. We choose certain languages, you know, um, and we dress a certain way or whatever. But all these things apart, when you are by yourself and nobody is watching you, when you don't have to please anybody, you have to have a feeling that, hey, you know what? I think I'm I'm pretty okay. I'm a good I'm a good person. I like. Yeah. And if you're able to consist. Yeah, but it's not. But there are days. Sometimes you feel like, yeah, I think I fucked up. Like I did. That yeah, thing. but I think a lot has to do, Suchi, with the fact that you got to constantly keep forgiving yourself, right? Yeah. When you're alone. When you're alone, you just need to make it like, okay. Like you know, you can't yeah. forgive yourself for everything. Like, not you know, everything, are, but yeah. Sometimes when you have to really, you know, be hard on yourself and say that no, I'm never going to, uh, you know, do this again. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Or I'm never going to let let this happen to me. Sometimes yeah. goes also. What? So. Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, so so uh, a lot of ideas that help me arrive at that that feeling consistently. So I think about uh, be it something that I read, uh, be it some about actions, be it about uh, how you conduct yourself or relationships or uh, uh, relationships with your parents, with your friends. So I I think about like you know all of these things in as much detail as possible. And when you have time, then you 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 do have, you go into details. and i feel that uh, i was very avoidant at times in the beginning because there are some things i subconsciously also would not avoid and then with practice um, you learn to tap into that go beyond override the subconscious and then you like you know what this is the problem you need to like figure <laughs> it out right um, so it's understanding self that's it nice you now you uh, gushan you've already made uh, quite a name for yourself in the industry it's been a nice journey up to now what is it that you're looking forward to doing is there a, any sort of a role that uh, you haven't i mean for an actor you all of us are always you know waiting for the next uh, great role to happen what is it that's always been in your mind which hasn't come yet which you want to do what type of um role? i don't know i don't have any like uh, like a wish list or anything like that Hmm. I'm on an endless boat. As of now, I'm on an endless boat journey. So I keep rowing my boat, and like, let's see, I'm on this endless river actually. Yeah, hmm. that's the lyric from a, a Pink Floyd album. So. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> uh, so, so, so you, you we'll can... see what it comes. Like I previously also mentioned, you know, the process. I want to enjoy the process, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't. I will, hmm. and it's not possible for us to like enjoy everything we do. No, any such thing. Sometimes yeah, how... hmm, we get it wrong also. Sometimes, like you know, I'm like. I'm doing something, and I was like, "Man, I thought this would be fun, but this is all." You know? yeah. That's what I wanted to ask you. You know, because yeah. there are the creative minds. I mean, so many creative minds think so differently. Okay, when and if you are of a certain opinion that this is the best thing for my character, mm. and the other person doesn't agree, how do you deal with stuff like that? Do you just go through the motions then, or yeah, you just go through it, and you have to honor the commitment also, and then That's right. you have to be professional. That's right. True. you the yeah. professionalism kicks in when when such thing happen and then you see it through and the experience also will put through a fairly experienced now so it's not like i'm starting off so experience also teaches you it gives you tools to sort of you know negotiate mm. such things, such mm. tricky areas and all those things yeah. that and mm. i take a lot of interest in uh, everything like you know i want to learn about like i enjoy negotiations and contracts <laughs> a lot of people actors avoid yeah i have so much fun again because i think of my approach of enjoying the process Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. By the yeah. That's amazing. You're That's Kurgi, amazing. right? Yes, I'm a Padwa. Yes. Ah, yes. Mm. I love. I love. So is Rashmika Mandana Mandana from uh, Pushpa. I don't ah. know. Her, I don't know her, but then we are like uh, uh, from the same community. And what star oh, sign are you, Gulshan? Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Twenty eighth of May. Twenty eighth of May. Yeah. 
तो तुम्हारा दूसरा वाला कब आएगा इंटरव्यू ज्वाइन करने के लिए वो वो कब होने वाला है मैंने सोचा शायद यू नो यू नेवर नो नहीं You know, I'm I'm thinking yeah, that's the kind of look he gives out when he sees nice feet. He's like, oh, <laughs> and those same feet start running. <laughs> you, of course, are somebody. I have to talk to you about this because you did mention the fact that you played cricket or whatever you did uh, in terms yeah. of sport. Sport, I think, is a big part of all our lives. Yeah. What do you feel about the entire situation as far as the present uh, uh, Indian team is concerned? I have to understand your mindset. Do you think that we are going through a complete clear level of madness right now or is this like a reset situation taking place i totally trust dravid rahul dravid you do he, completely that's it he, the indian cricket team is in very good hands fair enough so that on top of him you have uh, saurav ganguly sitting uh, people may say whatever about saurav ganguly but he has done a great service to the indian team in the past as a captain as a player yes yeah, yeah. and uh, i think particularly for them you know leaving a legacy behind is very important more so for saurav than for Rahul Dravid. Rahul Dravid is just like somebody you can really bank. Like, can, like if he's if if he says I'll do it, he'll do it. He'll give you know he'll give his best. So I think we should trust. So we are in good hands, basically, according to you right now. Yeah, I mean, see, there are cricket players are massive stars, and we have more than one massive star in the, in the team. And then there's always like you know egos will clash, disagreements will be there. But at the end of the day, I think uh, it's fine, and people will do sometimes certain things because. you know there is also the politics behind the scene so yeah so but i i completely trust them fair enough before we wrap up with you gulshan i want to know i want to know that one moment that one big moment when you joined the industry and when you know the fame came whatever what was that one kind of shift changing moment for you that you felt wow i'm here i'm you know you get better under se under se jab khushi mili under se i got to When you when you go to a restaurant and then they give you better seating, like <laughs> <laughs> you go somewhere and they're like, oh sir, yes please, like you know, <laughs> yeah, you know this is what I reserved, but can I sit there? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> But that's awesome, and you do that on purpose also. I'm sure. Sometimes you do that on purpose. Cool, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> but fantastic oh, to nice. have you on here at here thank you so so much gulshan i hope my pleasure my pleasure it's good to see you all and chat with you okay lots and lots of love and luck and uh, you know lots, all the best lots of positive vibes up. to you going forward thanks man thanks man okay bye so much fun right, okay, thank you so much bye bye election season enjoy the election <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> bye bye सलमान He only he's, he's only done a cameo with Shahrukh in Om Shanti Om in, in that song, song the title yeah. song, right? Yeah. But Rajkumar Hirani has now decided to announce a film where Dharam Paji will be playing Shahrukh's dad. Amazing! That's really interesting. But right? you know what, Suchi? Before we actually get into the works of how this yes. happened and all of that, I'm just thrilled, and I just want to put it out there in the universe. This is so amazing that he's going to be back. In cinema with a bang. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Such an adept it's, it's and an accomplished be, actor. Absolutely, it's going to be really good fun. And the fact that at 86, wow, the man is keeping himself in shape by doing like water aerobics. It's stuff, amazing, yeah. man. Huh? Imagine the mental fortitude, na, Suchi. Amazing, amazing. That a budget. We are waiting for your next offering on the big silver screen. They haven't yet uh, finalized what's the title of the film or whatever it is. Who cares, man? As long yeah. as it's yes. launched. Yes, and they're uh, they're. Definitely already all reading the 
scripts and everything and they're trying to align the dates as far as Shah Rukh and Dhanam Bhaji are concerned. Ah, okay. So that means it is like a proper palpable reality. It is going to take place. It's not just going to be one of those flyby things. I also know that Vicky Kaushal has been asked to play uh, oh, the friend, isn't it? In yeah, yeah, yeah. You're things, right. right. Absolutely right. right. Yeah, Vicky Kaushal has been asked to play Shah Rukh's friend in mm, this film. Mm. The fact that Vicky, of course, uh, you know, on his own steam is now a huge, big correct, solo actor. Uh, but... He has decided that he really is keen on, on doing this, which is the sign of a really good actor. Absolutely. You know, yeah, not insisting that, in that Sanju is... Sanju as well, na, Suchi. Exactly, with Ranbir. Right. You know, uh, which really shot him into Absolutely. Uh, fame. But uh, good on you, Vicky Kaushal. You know, it, it just proves to uh, proves to everybody that, you know, as long as you're a good actor, however small or big the role, True. that's all that matters. And Irani has also uh, uh, roped in Irani, which is the Baman Irani, ah, for this film. For this film. Yeah. Good one, it's going to be. सुची अब वो समय आ चुका है कि हमारे को अलविदा कहना पड़ेगा कभी अलविदा ना कहना कभी अलविदा ना कहना अगर अलविदा नहीं कह रहे हो तो सो लॉन्ग फेवेल to go uh, and leave this pretty side. Land. This is not a pretty side. This Sudhi <laughs> sitting in front of me is not a pretty side. It's such I a handsome and a brilliant side. Yeah. I still hate to go because it is the end of this episode of Here Radio with Sudhi and Suchi. And we will be back soon. And I am going to miss you. You know, I just wanted to say it. So long. Bye bye. Of Vida Zin Sudhi. Here, it's here with Sudhi and Suchi.